Hey everybody, this is Keisha with Lakeisha King Saving Greens and I am coming to you tonight from my garden because you guys, all day today, since earlier, I have been finding and pulling hornworms off of my tomato plants. And you know I have a lot of tomato plants growing, but look at the damage that they cause. You see how the leaves are all stripped? They get on there and they eat the leaves and they do eat some of the fruit sometime too. But they'll eat the leaves down. They'll eat your whole plant down <laughs> in just a couple of days. One, one hornworm will do that much damage. So anyways, while I was out here just doing some things to my garden, I uh, was watering and stuff and I noticed that these little boogers are out in force. So tonight, let me show you this one right here. He's moving around. I don't know if you guys can see him. These things, they, they give me the creeps, but yeah, I don't mind getting rid of these guys because I love my tomatoes more and these things are a nuisance. They really are. And before you guys, before a whole bunch of people start leaving messages or comments about how they need to live and, and everything, believe me, a lot of them do get to survive because I don't catch all of them. But when I do see them, I give them to my chickens. It's a circle of life thing, right? <laughs> and I do not want them on my tomatoes, especially not these tomatoes. These tomatoes are good. So anyways, you guys, you know I'm growing a whole bunch of tomatoes. That's what I got. Lots and lots of tomato plants out here. So it's a smorgasbord for hornworms and right now since we're going into triple digit weather all over again they're going to be out in mass <laughs> devouring all of my stuff so anyways my husband is home tonight today is uh the day after the fourth was so the fifth um and so he has today off for the holiday since the holiday fell on a Sunday and anyway since he's home we are gonna come back out here when it's dark and I'm gonna do some hornworm hunting with my black light flashlight so you guys I will be coming back tonight and showing you how a black light can illuminate these guys and make it a little bit easier for you to see. You know, they're camouflaged so well that it's hard to see them in the daytime, you know, with your bare, with your naked eye. Some people, they've gotten accustomed to um, searching for them and seeing them and finding them without having to do this, but for those little ones, and so far that's all I've got are tiny ones. Um, for those little ones, it makes it so much easier to use a black light to find them on here. So, and there are other telltale signs like that you'll see. Uh, let me see if I can find some over here. Yeah, like you see those little black spots on that leaf. Those, that's the poop from them and they poop and you'll see those on your leaves and you know you got hornworms or you'll see where they stripped some stems and you know you got hornworms or if you see them little suckers on there <laughs> like I was just watering and I kept seeing just seeing them and so I clip them off the plant and gave them to my chickens so I get easily distracted you guys that zinnia is so beautiful anyways I will be coming back out here and showing you how to find hornworms on your tomato plants at night
tiger. Okay, so we're out here. I'm just waiting for that light to go off, but I wanted to show you guys. This is, oh, there we go. This is how the hornworms look when you're out searching with a black light. You see them right there? Okay, so my husband's out here. He's going to help me just hold him, press him up to the bowl. Yeah. Okay. So now you see how they look. We're going to go around and we're just going to try and see if we can find any more. I got so many plants to search and find. Okay. Oh, they give me the heebie-jeebies, so. though. But I need to get them off my plants. Okay. Let's go look at the other plant. I don't see nothing else on this one. Oh, there's one right there. Can I cut that one off? Yes. Because there's no flowers or fruit on it, so yes. And we're not cutting the whole stem, so you know. Is that a, no, that's a clip. I was gonna say, is that another one? <laughs> Those clips are glowing too. That's what's throwing me off, cause they're glowing. You see one? I see that's how old it is. Okay. I think we're good on this one too. I'm getting there, babe. This plant, for whatever reason, is not having a good time. It's starting to look kind of sickly. You wanna you are you okay with me doing the light or you wanna do whatever it? you want. Okay, I'll do it for a little bit longer and then I'll let you take over. How's that? That's a pepper plant, but they they get on pepper plants too. Oh, I ran through a spider wheel. You know, I forgot I was gonna put some of these peppers in my stir fry. Is that one? Yep. See them right there, a little one. Let me see that leaf. You can you can take this stem off if you want. Yeah, earlier I found like six, six to eight different ones, and they've all been pretty small, but still, they've done a lot of damage. I've got a lot of tomato plants, so I just want to make sure all my tomato plants are going to be good. That's a radish. <laughs> that tomato plant is in there somewhere. But that was a radish. That looks so weird, doesn't it? That is glowing because those are um, green aphids. And so they're glowing. Like the 
Poor worms do. I don't see any in there. It's kind of hard because the radish. Let's see. Do we have any other ones? Tomato plants. Okay. Um. I don't have any more tomato plants over there. It's just all of these jungle ones right here. So, this. See how those glow? Those, uh, what do you call them? Clips? Garden clips? They glow. Along with everything else here. Oh, here's one over here. I see it. Right there. Well, that one's pretty big. You can take that whole leaf branch if you want. You can just snap it, snip it right, right here, right here where I'm behind him, and then that makes it shorter. So then all you have to do is snip it on this side. Yeah. Easy peasy. Well, kind of. <laughs> I can't stand these things. I fed them to the chickens. And they were all about it earlier. At first, I, I was calling them and they weren't coming to me because I guess they uh, it was still too hot for them. Be moving around. I don't see any more. It's on this side now. That corn keeps poking me. <laughs> it's unnerving to have stuff poking you and you can't see what it is. Oh, firework. sure I get all of them as many as I can find tonight because I don't want them taking out my plants all the way I just want to make sure that I I get as many of them as I can would you say earlier let's celebrate the 5th of July <laughs> we it's illegal for us to even light fireworks over here but it doesn't stop people from doing it still. We're in a high fire zone because everything. And because there's a drought, we haven't had rain for a while. And so, right here, Daniel, these are all tomatoes right here. Let's see if there's any uh, in here. But we haven't had rain for so long. I found one on here earlier and I took it off already. I'm gonna make sure there's not any more. What? I'm sorry, kitty. I wasn't looking up, I was looking over here. You saw me. Poor tiger. I'm sorry, baby. I stepped on my cat, you guys. <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean to step on him. He's used to me just stepping over him and stuff, but I didn't see him this time. Oh, poor baby. Tiger. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry, tiger. This one is really bushy. here on this side let's see I like that I got tomatoes I like that a lot like I said we're gonna we're gonna be gone and when we come back I'm not gonna have no more tomato plants now this right here is the jungle going through here oh is that one no 
And then I saw some stripes. We actually have crickets. Remember before, it had been some years that I hadn't heard crickets. And I was wondering what was going on, but it's because of all the lizards that we have back here. They were eating all the crickets. It's just a wall. That's true. That was an hour when we came out of there. Oh, okay. They stay mostly towards the tops of the tomato plants and not so much those older leaves but the young fresh leaves the new growth is what they go after mostly so that's why I'm not really focusing too much down below but up top more oh that's kind of cool look at the solar light when the black light hits it the cord that's the power cord or whatever you want to call it that leads to the box right there you see anything no i just see the clips i don't see any more worms there's more tomato plants right here i took one off of this one earlier today that's what finally clued me in. I was like, what? A hornworm? Let me check everything. <laughs> make sure they're not getting all my stuff. And then there's this one. And then we gotta go to Tomato Row. I might probably have to come out here again before we go to look again just to make sure that we didn't skip bypass any uh yeah, go over here I'm gonna cut all these down I'm supposed to see if the tortoise is like those so watch where you step right here. Don't step on the vines. Okay. I'm just going to check over here real quick. So we're on tomato row now. Checking to see if there's anything over here. I don't see anything. Oh, here's one. Look, it just pops out at you real quick sometimes. I think I'm trying to get away. I'm trying to get away. Be careful where you step. Just want to make sure there's no more on that plant. Oh, my God. Okay, so you guys, this is our haul for tonight. There's about nine of them that we got. And I'll probably come out and check again uh, in a, another couple of nights. But you guys, you see how easy it is to see them with that black light? crazy how that works so anyways thank you for um joining me and my husband as we did our nighttime tomato hornworm hunt and you guys don't forget to click that subscribe button because there's going to be plenty more exciting things happening here so as always god bless <laughs>